already listening, this is the pregame show with the amazing Daniel Ramirez. Give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Give him oh, a well, thank round you. of applause. Thanks, everyone. Let's not forget the incomparable, the magnificent, Mr. Steve Hudson. Yay. Ladies and gentlemen, let's return those applause. Rolling, rolling that accent. Rolling that accent. What's happening, Mr. Steve? I heard you had yourself a really wonderful weekend, and I thought we should talk about it. Guys, hold on real quick. Before you answer, Steve, Uh huh. that's complete bullshit, guys. Steve had himself... <laughs> He had himself a pretty bad weekend. Would you agree, sir? Would you call it it? Would you define it as a bad weekend? It was a rough weekend, ladies and gentlemen. A rough weekend. Rough couple of days. Yeah. So, um, anyone that knows me knows that I like my car. I had a I had a Mustang 2016. I liked it, dug it, loved it. And so I'm rolling home in my own world, enjoying life, paying attention to these wonderful streets of Fresno. Can you give us a timeline? It was about three in the morning. And at three in the morning, the, the place is empty. So I pretty much just, you know, kind of taking my time or whatnot. And I, I come to a stop. And in Fresno, there's an, an intersection that is blinking because the lights are out. Because they turn off the power so that they can work on a bridge down on, Ash, on a street we have. And so I stop at this blinking light, look both ways. Everything looks clear. And I start going. And a speeding car hits my car. Kaboom! Damn, dude. So where did she? Where did the person hit you? In the front <laughs> of the car. I just, uh, I guess, should I keep it as? I, I obviously don't want to bring any type of. I want to keep everything very anonymous. Well, she hit me on, on well, where you would know is Ashland and Golden State, right on that off ramp from Ashland ninety nine. Okay. All right. And she hit. She tried to go around me and just still boom. And she hit me so hard that her car door was in my grill and my grill was in her car door. I'm just trying to picture that. I don't even know how it happened. I mean, even the cops were looking like, how did that even you guys transferred pieces? That's wild, man. Like, now let me ask you this question yeah. in that particular scenario. Did they mention anything like you're lucky to be alive? I mean, they that's did. kind of a, they did. So, you know, cause that's a very cliche thing to say. And obviously it's, it's one of those no shit kind of things. Yes. It, but, it, but on the, yes. on the grand scheme of things, Steve, how lucky were you? I was very lucky. Cause if I would have gone a second earlier, she, she would have hit me directly. Just hit me on the passenger side going full Damn, speed. son. She almost killed my podcast partner, my friend. I wouldn't have been able to see Deadpool. What kind of bull crap <laughs> is that? So, guys, listen to this. This this is the <laughs> shit I deal with when uh, dealing with one Steve yeah. Hudson. Uh -huh. here. I'm going to actually go to my texts real quick. <laughs> All right. Just give me a second, folks. I'm sorry, but it really, it's it's worth it. It's worth I it. I can't wait to hear this. This is going to be funny, I think. I don't know where, he, I don't know where he's going. Uh, okay. <clears throat> uh -huh. Here we go. So it was yesterday uh -huh. about nine. It was yesterday evening, nine thirty. Yes, yes. I'm just checking in with Hudson because I need to see what the deal is for yeah. today. Okay. Uh -huh. So that's that's where we're at. Mm -hmm. I'm just I'm just illustrating. Yeah, man. Let me just it. break yeah, it down for, for sure, these folks. For sure. All right. Uh -huh. All right. So <laughs> here we go. Yesterday, nine twenty six PM. What you doing right now, homie? That's me. Chilling with the man cub. Saw Deadpool earlier. Oh, me too. Looking forward to your thoughts. That's Steve. What time, what time are you free tomorrow? Does one work? Yeah, perfect. And then um, we have some other discussion that we really can't get into. It has to do with a certain show. And then I go, hey, did you check out... And I'm just going to insert blah, blah here. Did you check out blah, blah yet? Sure haven't. Totaled my car. Some girl ran a red light. Just been watching Animal Kingdom. Love it. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck, dude? Uh, Guys, do you seriously, do you see what I'm talking about? I like, do, that's yeah, a fun, that's told a... in my car, but I love Animal Kingdom. It's a great show. <laughs> that is now, you funny. Now, you know I love you, right? I appreciate you really that, man. No, I have love yeah, for you, man. for sure. And I'm really happy that we're here talking yeah, and you're not uh -huh. hospitalized yeah. or worse. Yep. But you're, you're fucking crazy, though. I like, am. you don't even, it's like you don't. 
Yeah. What am I trying to say? Like, you don't really, it's not like you're like, you're not taking it serious kind of. Yeah, it's true. Well, are you? Yeah, well, the thing is, I think like my mom, I didn't tell my mom till yesterday at about five in the afternoon. And she was like, you didn't tell your mom that her son almost died. Did not. And she was like, what? I was like, yeah. She's like, well, how did, what? And after a long thing, she was like, how did you get home? I was like, oh, I was going to walk home. I had my backpack and I would start walking until the, <laughs> till the, <laughs> until the, do, 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 <laughs> down the street. everything's fine. Yep. Just got, just almost died. Yeah. And I was going to walk home with my backpack and stuff until the bulldog tow guy was like, Hey, where are you going? I was like, Oh, I'm just going to walk home. He's like, where do you live? I'm like about two, three miles up. He's like, how about I just take you home? I'm like, Oh, all right. Okay. Now two or three miles isn't a big deal, but you've, you know, you're just getting off of work. Yes. And, you know, you've had a long day. Yeah. It was four in the morning at this point. So why not take an Uber? You know what? I was going to, but I was like, oh, I got to call him. I have to wait. I got my podcast I could listen to. And I just was about to have my earphones in and everything. So I'm just going to, you know, desensitize myself and walk down the street. Yeah. Dead of night. Uh -huh. Completely oblivious to my surroundings. Yes, pretty much. I don't know what I'm going to do with you, man. I, and you know what's funny? Here's the thing. If someone would have asked me, a week ago, what would you do if your car got totaled? I would have been like, I would lose my crap. And I just, you know what? Here's what happened, ladies and gentlemen. Here's really what happened. When I got out the car and looked at my car, it almost made it machine. Like I put personality into my car, but when I saw it just crumpled in nothing but machinery, I was like, oh, this is just a thing. You're just a thing that I put personality onto. And then I slowly started caring less. You know, it's it's merely a mechanical vessel. That's good that you're not like, you know, so bummed out that your car is total. Yes. I mean, I really do appreciate your good attitude with yeah. it. It's just it's your it's your devil may care attitude about like, hey, well, I almost died. Yeah, I mean, and I and I'm and I'm sure you're happy that you're not dead. Obviously, I mean, <laughs> that's kind of a, kind of goes without totally. saying. Totally, but but still, man, it's just you're just like, yep, you know. I think it, it's I, like yeah. you, it's like you're telling me you you saw a show on television the way that you told me you you know it, your car. I think you don't get for me. I won't get scared of dying until I do, and then you won't be scared. I don't. I don't think it's like I like. I walked away, and even if I would have broken my leg, it wouldn't have been like. I, it doesn't hit you that you almost died. It's just like, well, I didn't. <laughs> I don't know. It's like I, I, I didn't die. I walked. I can away. dig it. And she, uh, the, I think the girl was more. I mean, but she was super young, dude, like nineteen. And so I'm like, this is probably her first accident. She's freaking. She's not freaking out. She's just, just like. What do I do? What do we do? But one question she did have, we didn't know. And even the the, the witness was there. We're like, hey, what do we do now? He's like, you know what? I don't know. I'm like, do we move our cars? He said, I don't think you can. And we couldn't move our cars. We're like, so do we block traffic? Or he's like, I don't know. And so he called the cops. And he was like, the cops were like, well, oddly enough, this is the one time you should call us when there's not an injury or whatever. Yeah, you call us so that we can get everything together and move you guys out of the road make sure we have a block but normally you don't call cops if there's no injury this dude didn't have any road flares or anything no he just put no this put random kind of shoddy bullshit is that he, this is a tow truck driver oh no he wasn't even there no he wasn't even there yet this was when it oh, first okay. happened it was a coincidence that a security guard was right at the intersection saw the whole thing but we were all just sitting there like uh what now now that we know everybody's okay now that the security guard saw it and he was like hey if you need me to have a witness, I'll just tell tell them what happened. But then we're like, oh crap, what, we're in the middle of a of a freaking highway, kind of. What do we do? And the cops are the one that just parked. They didn't even set up flares. They just parked themselves in front of one part of traffic and just had, you know, and uh, just started, you know, chilling, taking everybody's. I think there there was a I think there was a new kid they had giving all you know taking all of our um, you know testimony or whatever. And they were just chilling together, talking. But this like little young kid was going around, be like, "Okay." And then what happened? And then what happened? And uh, you know, uh, tell us your side of the story, Mister Hudson. That's it. Seriously, <laughs> it was that young, dude. I was like, "Oh, they have you doing all the the work, the the grunt work right now." I guess you're a trainee. But um, yeah, it was it was it wasn't until I got my rental car that's when I really got like, "Oh crap." When they said you have to pay for it until you get reimbursed, that was the maddest I got. That was it. 
be like, what? I got to pay this. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, Every, money definitely will like that's the thing. Kind of put things in perspective real quick. Oh yes. And that was what I was just like, I have to pay for this. But other than that, I was like, like the best case scenario. Well, worst case scenario, absolutely going absolute worst. They try to say it wasn't my fault. Uh and then my insurance is like, Yes, it was. Yeah, we'll handle it now, but we're gonna get our money. That's worst case. Um, you know, best case they take the whatever. And I think either way I'm gonna get a new car though. You're gonna buy new again? No, I'm not. I'm never doing yeah, it again. Don't do it. Like I lost when I looked at okay, so this made me look at my payments or what I've put, you know, how much payments I've made on this thing. And I had never looked really, because you just make payments. And so I was like, let me see how much money I already done whittled away from this piece. Bruh. I was like, <laughs> I was like what? How <laughs> like, much have you may I ask, is that is that too personal? No, not at all, dude. I have made I still owe sixteen thousand dollars on this car. Thirteen or sixteen. I thought and I owed what did like you put in? What have you paid? I have paid uh wait, thirteen, seventeen. I have paid wait, no, 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 no. I owe twelve, thirteen, because I've paid down fourteen. And so Ugh. I look now. It's so ugly, man. Dude, I feel sorry for you, dude. And I should have the thing is, I I even listened to Susie Roman over and over and over and over again say, don't ever in your life purchase a new car. And this time I'm gonna trade mine in for a used, because I can get a used GT for like twenty six thousand dollars. So you're gonna get the same thing? No, I don't have a GT. I don't have a GT. What do you have? I have just a V V six. See now, okay, you just man carded me. So, like, what's the difference and what's what's uh, better? The V six is six cylinders. The V eight is eight cylinders. The GT, the V eight is just faster. That's all it is, and it holds. So that's what I'm saying. Value. You're getting, you're going to upgrade yes, a little bit up, essentially. But you know what else I was looking at? Maybe I'm getting old. I was thinking about getting out of the sports car game. Oh, dude, why don't you just get yourself a Harley? Gee, I could. <laughs> I could see Hudson rolling into work on a. Oh, dude, I'd, look I'd look good. But I was looking. I was actually looking at luxury cars like a Lexus or a Beamer. But Beamers don't hold their value either. Lexuses do, and they're made by Toyota, which I trust. And so I thought about getting a um like a uh, a, a Lexus coupe, something cool, something more grown up. I've been feeling weird about getting into my Mustang lately. Is that weird? Oh, you feel like a douchebag or something, dude. I wasn't going to say that word. <laughs> Did I hit the nail on yes, the head? Yes, dude. And I don't know why. I'll say the dirty. I'll say all the dirty stuff for you. Tell dude. me why. Care. Why do you think I feel this way? Because you are facing the oncoming midlife crisis. Oh, no. That's just my guess. It might be coming, dude. It's coming. Trust me, it's coming. Because I feel weird. Whenever I get into that car, I'm like, I feel weird and like, try like I'm trying to be something that I'm like, not, and then I see other people, like, I when I was rolling the four-seater for a while, they rented me a really nice four-seater, I don't know how long ago, and I was like, this feels a lot more, like, cool, and I think I'm just getting old, bro, and I'm never going to go 167 miles an hour, I'm just not, because I'll get pulled over and arrested or something, and I'm just never going to go that fast, and I- That's typically what happens. Is, yeah, that's true, that's true. And also, gee, my, my gas mileage, bro. 21 miles to the gallon. Yeah, I know. Because I'm in the market, too, you know, and I was thinking about getting something that was like a, like a V8. Yeah, don't. But it's crazy. It's 15 miles a gallon for a V8. That's, that's, I'm trying that's, to get that's a ridiculous. truck oh, or like a, or a SUV. Oh. But I don't even know if I need to now. Oh, dude. Like, it's basically just the three of Like, my son's never home. So it's just, the, and mostly it's just me because I'm always working, as you know. As I mentioned, every fucking show. Yeah, Sorry, guys. But the but SUV, I do. though, the SUV makes sense because it's you, your daughter, and your wife. On occasion. But I might, you know, it's one of those I might need it kind of things. You, or you might. Maybe I'll need a truck. Everyone needs a truck, right? I mean, do we? That's the question. Let me ask you something. Yeah. Do I look like a truck guy to you? Okay. Like, now, could you see me rolling in a I truck? I totally could. Really? Like a Dodge Ram, those big ones. That is those you, in dope. my opinion... I see you in that because I'm like, for some reason, that's his personality in my head. You're a Dodge like or an F-150 guy where it's just like you would actually, even if you didn't use it, you would find a way to use it. I'd be like, 
Why did he even offer to do that? Because he can now. Why yeah, wouldn't that would he? Be it. <laughs> who needs who needs moving exactly. help? Exactly. You need. Oh, you're buying a bed. Do you need me to? Don't even worry about it. I'll be there because you can. You know, I've got just the vehicle. Mine. Exactly. And so <laughs> I was, and and that's where I like. I'm looking for something that matches me. And I saw a Lexus coupe, and I was like, that really matches me. That's more my style because I'm not going to be a speed demon. I've got it out of my system now. I've done it for three years and it's gotten me. It doesn't make me feel any more. I thought it would. I thought when I get a sports car, I'm going to feel all this. And it just didn't. I I think I felt the best when I got my new Mac and I got my new, uh, you know, my new, uh, you know, Logic Pro X. I mean, that was a thing where it's like, this is going to add like that increases like your Mac and your Logic Pro increases in value as time goes on because of what you're doing with it that increases the value whereas no matter what car i get it's going to either go down or hold that's it that's the only investment i've ever made that did that my house goes up everything goes up except for the car so if it's go, you know what i'm saying that's what my thing if it's going to go down i might as well get something that i'm just like okay i'm going to keep this and I also thought about a Tesla, but go on. That's actually been something I've been thinking about. I can't afford Big Daddy Tesla. The six, what is? I don't even know how much. Yeah, they the are. Mo- that I want to say yeah. they're like sixty thousand or something like yeah, that. About seventy. Yeah. yeah, you know, they're they're in the too much for me. You can, category. you can, but you're not. You don't want to spend that kind of money. I could poke my own fucking eye out too. It doesn't mean I'm going to do it. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. That's where it is. Yes. I could iron my penis. It doesn't yeah. mean I'm going to do it. It's too. not a smart investment. No, no, not at all. But I have been looking at, no, that's not true. I'm lying to you. I have been considering looking into the, what is it? The, it's like that lower model. model one. It's the three, 30. Which are, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now every review is like, yo, this car though. Cause they expected it to be a lower tier Tesla. But when they drove it, they were like, wait a freaking minute. It's legit. And it's 35 racks. That's more, that's less than what your Dodge Ram is going to be. I know that's the thing, but then you got to think about the battery Two hundred twenty-five. all the time miles? that you're going to have. To... That's, that's a lot of time. How, what is it? How it's much? Like 225. Yeah. See, like you're doing all the research for me. I'm, I'm terrible at car shopping. No, first you're you. And the thing is here's okay. Cause I, I went in and watched. I saw, I, well, I, I went into the reserve area in Tesla and it says you put a thousand dollars now, right? And what that does is it locks in your place. You are now locked in. You have a Tesla coming to you, but it's going to be in 2019. And when 2019 comes around, you have to put five grand down and then arrange the payment plan or whatever they do. And the payment will be like five and some change. And you might put more than five down. It's up to you, but it has to be limited. You have to at least put five down and then you have the five minimum, five minimum. And then you have the Tesla made for you. You tell them what you want, and they build it for Dan. That's the wild. Yeah, I don't thing. have that. I don't have that kind of time. I know. You know what I, mean? I can't wait till like I'm not gonna go carless for a freaking year. And they said, yeah, maybe a year. It could be more. As people increase buying these things, or they, you know, bingo. That's and the, you know it's going up. It's going. Up. But then see, but did you hear about it recently? I think was it in town, or am I making that part up? But there was a Tesla. No, it wasn't in town. There was a Tesla that caught fire after an accident, and it. Do you know what I'm talking about? No, I didn't even it hear about te- that. It was. It had something to do with the battery. I tell a great story. I know. I was hoping that you were gonna like do the recovery for me and go. Yeah, this is what happened. Did not. Well, and the thing is, here's the thing with with Tesla, since they're so few, not few, but comparatively made, they're gonna zero into these weird accidents. But if I'm just like, well, let me see what the worst thing that could happen in a Toyota or a Honda or a Volt, they'd still be like, oh, well, if you want to concentrate on the crazy stories. This happened to a Toyota. Remember when those, remember when the, um, in the Toyota, the, uh, the, um, accelerator would get stuck like a few oh years God. back. And then they, that's they, fucking horrifying. You totally forgot about it because they started making better cars. But for a while, the Toyota accelerator would get stuck. How crazy is that? Hey, I found it, man. So May 9th, 2018. Okay. Two teens killed after Tesla Model S bursts into flames oh, following a crash. Crap. You know what the worst part about this story is? Actually, I was going to be bad taste, but 
what are teenagers doing driving a Tesla? Oh, gee, let me tell you something. I, here's, here's the thing. That's the one thing I love about Edison. I don't see kids driving those cars at Edison. I mean, their parents are, but I'm like, you know what? Even if there are rich kids here, they don't. They at least aren't spoiling their kids because I do see some nice cars, but it's always the parents getting into them. And I would like, you know what? If my son was like, and hey, my homeboy's taking me out, which is worrying me when my son goes to USC, who is he going to meet there? Like, what do kids drive at USC or UCLA? I think you're going to be in that competitive category for sure. Dude. Dude. And I don't want that. But keep him humble, man. Send him up with like, send him up in like a 63 Beetle. Uh, I should. I freaking should. You should. should. I totally, that's what I had. A buck. Did you really have a 63 Beetle? I had a buck. I can't see you bugging, man. A pink one. Get the fuck out of here. Did you really? With a heart emblazoned on the hood <laughs> dead serious ask anybody well people that knew me did they had, it had a heart emblazoned <laughs> on the hood and it was a pink why? bottle uh, uh, why bottle. though because it was it was four hundred dollars okay that's a really good reason <laughs> i know right but still <laughs> you know what a heart it was a pink, a pink <laughs> do you bug. have a picture of it dude no no see back then you i would actually have to have a picture like i would have to have a polar or a because it was in well no it wasn't that long it was like uh, 99, 2000. <laughs> yeah, I remember. And then my insurance was like $27. <laughs> I can't believe you drove a pink bug in with a Fresno, heart on it. No air conditioning. In Fresno. No air conditioning. It's a small enough town. I feel like I should have seen that car. You probably did. There's no, I mean. Look at this clown driving this pink totally bug. Totally, dude. With a heart on it. And people used to clown me and I was just so proud. I used to wash that piece even though it was just rusty. <laughs> I was doing the most. And then, oh, this is a better story. And then I get my <laughs> Honda. I get my brand new Honda. You remember the Honda. And then I get yeah. my Honda. And I'm all jazzed because it's my first uh, you, well, car from the dealer. Um, and three weeks in, I hit the parking pole. Whole side of my door is destroyed. Whole part of my door. And that's how it looked for the rest of my, uh, for its life. I'm not going to say what I was going to say because it's just going to make my wife feel bad. Go ahead. She banged up my car. Like, I think it was, was it three days into owning it? <laughs> or was it three weeks? I can't remember. I just remember there was three and it wasn't months. It was either days or weeks. Water under the bridge. But I just remember going. Ugh. Was it like, like what so do you sorry. mean by banged up? I'm trying to remember. Oh, I think she, you know, well, there was some bad shit going on. And uh, she was not completely focused which she had every right to be i'll just leave it at that and uh was but she, I think she, she was backed doing, into somebody's she was car. running the drug cartel or no yeah well she was running from oh the drug cartel my gosh well you can't blame her for that dude come on no no so i mean there she is you know she's walking out of the store and there is said drug cartel right there they're like hey there she is yeah so she gets into my new and and, and she's got a new ride guys so be ready to chase her that's true and Freaking uh right, you know dude. she she lost control yep I mean, you can't, it's hard to drive and shoot behind you. That's hard. Yeah, that's the thing. Well, that's where she fucked up is because she was trying to do both. You can't, man. You really can't. You really can't. It's a problem to try. Exactly. You know, which is I give up. her points for trying. So why would you even be mad at her for dinging your car? That's what I'm saying. Okay. I start. I was just bringing up a story okay. because it was like part of a conversation. Cool. But then I was like trying to ease back on it because, you know, really, she did her best. She really did. She did too much. She did too much, but she tried. And I really, you know, it's it. What if she didn't try? Dude. Then I should have a reason to be pissed, right? Dude. Like if the car didn't have a big old nasty dent in it three days after purchasing. Um, <laughs> not that I'm bitter. I'm saying, I'm, I'm just saying I'm not. Whew. But, you know. <laughs> you're better I'm than. I'm just kidding. No, you're better. I'm just kidding, baby. You're better than me because I think if somebody was, if I had only my car for three days and it now I wouldn't care. Like officially now I am never going to put stock into a thing ever again um it's just going to be a i want a nice thing that gets me from place to place and if somebody backs in and hit because i've been hit before did i tell you that in the mustang i don't believe so someone backed into me at um at um walgreens and left me a note and i just told them not to worry about it and then a kid hit me on he sideswiped me i followed him home and his dad came out and him and my boy when i was like you're um your son hit my car. He's like, where? And he looked at it. 
And then he got up and he looked at his boy and I was like, oh man. I Go don't... get the belt. Bruh, that's what I was just <laughs> like. And that's when I was just like, you know what, G? I tell you what, man, just give me, when he looked at that car and then looked back at his son, I was like, oh no, what? I know that look. I know that look. And we just, I just chilled with him a few different times. He gave me a few bucks and like a few hundred dollars. I'm like, yeah, all right, just call it even. And I, you know, we had some talks and, and you know, everything was fine. How are you so nice all the time, man? I don't get that. Like you're always nice. The only time that you're not nice is when you're like not into say a movie or something like that, or you're, or a, you know, a musician, some kind of someone else's art, you tend to get very opinionated, but people can just bump into your car. You know, it doesn't matter. Hey, tell you what, tell you what, let me give you money, kid. Yeah. You, know what you need like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, you're like seriously one of the nicest people I know. I appreciate, you know, what is funny, G I always think like, I remember there was that quote that said the same toes that you step on, on the way up are the ones you're going to be kissing on the way down. And I was like, I want everyone to be like, if some, by some chance they, something good happens to them, they could look back and be like, you know, who always was nice to me, that guy, that dude would, could you just never know? You really never know what light, what happens in life. And I don't want to be like our podcast explodes and someone's like the head of some company. And it's like, I'm sorry, who did you say was trying to get a podcast deal here? Dan and who? I'm like, oh, Steve Hudson. They'd be like, oh, that's where he ended up. You never know who you're going to run into again. And if you screwed somebody over before, karma is funny. Karma is a funny thing. And so, and I like having my karma in a, in good standing. Not a bad policy. I'm trying brother. I'm trying. So, but what I'm getting from that entire thing is that you're in defeat. Basically. I, you want to kiss some toes. Oh, for sure, bro. I'm like Tarantino, not like him, but he likes feet. Okay. No, I, I shouldn't even said Tarantino. Why? He loves feet. I know, but he, he can't get enough feet. We also don't know what's up with him yet. I gotta That's wait. Okay. Until he still likes feet. He does like feet, Jake. He did. You know it's and hey, what did I? Oh, we're gonna talk about that on the podcast. Never mind. I watched. Hey man, are you are you into feet, bro? No, no. As a matter of fact, they're fairly repulsive, no matter how beautiful they are. Why is that? Because they're just gross to me. Oh my. I, no, no, no. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm not a foot person, but I'm just curious. Like, what is it? I think it might be, I wouldn't be surprised if, it, surprised if it was some sort of evolutionary thing. I wouldn't be surprised if for some reason, some people are just wired not to like that part of a person's body for some random reason. Cause I know people that are repulsed by them. And I was like, that's a random thing to be repulsed by. I think there's a reason for that. And it's not just one or two people. Like feet are either a thing for you or it's just like, ugh, is that. Like if you rub somebody's foot if someone's like, hey, rub my feet, they're either going to be like, no, or yay, there is no, huh, let me think about it. No, they're either going to be like, okay, or heck no, get the things off me. It's pretty. That is really weird. Yeah, I mean, but then there's the flip side where people just can't get enough of them. I never, now I have not met, I haven't met a person that is vocal about that. I, I'll say no names, but yes, I, I know someone very into feet. It's really trippy. Really? Yeah. That's a strange <laughs> thing. Well, you know, it's like if, if, if this person's listening, they know that they're obviously into this because that's how I found out. But I remember going to a concert one time. You know, I can't tell this story. Never mind. I can't. Because there's a <laughs> I can't. But they're really into feet. I'm going to leave it at that. That is Now, you not being into, into it, it still wouldn't preclude you from being like, if your significant other is like, hey, rub my feet. You'll be like, sure, no problem. She knows I'm not into feet. So she wouldn't ask. So she'll oh, ask me to rub them on purpose. Oh, on really? purpose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I'll be like, okay. And then she'll be like, see, that was a test. That's you love me. Best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I would. I would. Because you're a dope cat, man. You're that guy. I used to be really grossed out by feet. Really, really bad. Until I got into my my current occupation. Not my current occupation, but my my healthcare role. And you know what? You, those, there's so much more gross shit out there than feet. <laughs> you, you come to find very quickly. Yeah. That feet are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to healthcare. Well, like puke doesn't do anything to you. That's baffling no. to me. Yeah, you've got a thing like you get 
Oh, I can't. Physically ill yeah, well, like, to see puke or smell it or anything, right? Like, I won't be like, huh, huh, no, but I will be like, oh, I don't like that whole burpy sound or pee of people puking. And for you, you're just like, you've seen it so much that it does nothing to you. Like, you'll just be like, are you getting sick, ma'am? Like, no big deal. No big deal at all. Just go get the trash can. That is so interesting to me. Well, you knew me when I was having some stomach issues. I did. I was having some problems from stress is really what it was. Mm -hmm. And I think I was giving myself an ulcer, but I was like throwing up like four or five times a day. Jeez Louise, dude. And you know that period I'm talking about. Oh, where yeah. I, was just, I just couldn't hold anything down. I, I was remember that. Weight. Yes. Yes, because you so had a very important interview in that time. I did. You, That's right. And you had, and you were texting, being like, dude, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I was like, what? You're like, I've been throwing up all day. And you thought it was just because oh, you were nervous. You were thinking, you were thinking job, and inter- I was thinking job interview. You're talking about the, uh, oh yeah, the Julianne Emery. Yeah, Emery. I thought you were just That's right. nervous. Julianne Emery, if you're listening, just so you know, I threw up like five times before I talked to you. And you there, were bad, it. dude. You were like bad off that day, and you're like, I sure hope I'm, I'm able to do this. It, it turned out being an amazing interview. Thanks, man. I, you know, and that was the thing. I wasn't really good at the like Skype or anything yet. Not that I am now, but so I had to do it a little bit differently. And for how it came out, it wasn't so bad. I wish it would like now. I wish we could have done that because we would have sounded so much better, but she was cool as shit. Um, do you mind us talking about, or do you want to talk about it during the actual show about your little guest appearance? No, let's do it. All right. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Dan is a popular man. I don't know if you got the memo. I don't know if any of y'all got the memo. But Dan is a popular individual, so much so, mind you, that someone heard the show and was like, you know who I want on that on my show? That fella. And he was on a podcast. Um, tell them about the name of the podcast and how your experience, the experience was on said podcast. Okay. Well, first of all, though, it's not – I'm going to change the story a little bit. <sighs> oh, why are you reading I know. the story, dog? Because he, if he listens, and he does, he listens – He'll know that I'm not telling the truth. But so I'm, I'm going to tell you story, how it went though. down. You, see, and you if they go to said podcast, we actually talk about it on the show. Oh, That's another okay. reason. So I can't put any fiction in it. Shoot. I know. I ruin everything. But, okay, so the podcast I'm talking about, I'm talking about Sean, and his podcast is a horribly awkward podcast. And he is a local guy, too. So it's great. When I found out he was from Fresno, I struck up a conversation with him on Twitter. And it was very short lived, you know, but he's actually, he listens to the word and that's where it started. And he, you know, he always talks about his profession, like outside of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and say it because I don't think he's going to mind. He does uh, like street sweeping, like, like uh, oh, pressure washing. Like, you know what I mean? Like he goes out, he works a graveyard shift through this, these violent streets of Fresno and he pressure washes. That's a dangerous G. I I mean, he's got a weapon in his hand, though. That would be kind of cool to fuck someone up with one of those things. But anyway, that's, I'm sorry. I'm being tangential. So one night, I'm coming home from work, and I see this dude. He's kind of like, he's got like a, he's bald. He's a little tall. Uh, he's got a beard. There's, I just knew it was him is what I'm getting at. So he's, he's doing his pressure washing thing, and I'm walking into the liquor store real quick. And uh, I see him. So I, I go up to him, and he's like got his headphones on. He's doing his thing. And I'm like, hey, man, are you Sean? And I come to later find out that he heard me the first time, but because he didn't know who I was, he like took off, (laughs) he took off his, his earbuds and went, huh? Cause you know, he wanted that extra time. Like, who is this guy? He needed some time to, you know, people walking up to you in the dead of night. You're not expecting it. You're fully into it. Wait a minute. Where where was the, you said he was doing pressure washing. Yeah. He was pressure washing outside of a liquor store. Oh snap. I've seen. Yeah. Okay. I'm with you. Yeah. I just gotten off work. I wanted to get a beer. So I walked in and oh, there's Sean. So I walked up to him made the connection, told him who I was. He's like, oh yeah, I listened to your show. I said, that's pretty dope. And that was really it. We had a little 10 minute conversation. I went on my merry way. So I guess later on, he was like looking through the old messages that we had. He's, this dude has like so many followers, it's ridiculous. So he found me and he actually reached out to me like just a little bit later. He's like, hey, I'm listening to Heroes of Noise right now. Cause I told him I had to sell the show, of course, you know. And the rest is history. So he asked me if I wanted to be on. I said, totally, but he hadn't really been doing too many shows over the last month or so. He had a visitor from his lover and he was spending some time with her. You know what I mean? Prioritizing like a good man should. So when she left, he hits me up and 
I was on Horribly Awkward Podcast, episode, I believe it's 132. It just came out today. So if you guys want to listen to that, it's pretty funny. It's like very loose. It's, it's, it's very like loose form. You know what I mean? They just start rambling and doing it. And uh, they used to do skits, or not skits, improvisation. You know, they, I thought it was pretty cool because, the, you know, it's called the Horribly Awkward Podcast. And he would get some people on, like, he's had an actress from The Walking, uh, Fear the Walking Dead. Ray Gray, I think her name is. She's been on. I don't know if she did it, but he would just be like, hey, so, you know, you're, you're a celebrity. Let's just get down to this. Like, right when he would start and they would just start doing improv. And people would either go with it or they'd, act, they'd feel a little weird about it, which I think makes it great that they call it the horribly awkward podcast but i was down to do that and so he actually brought it back for me and some other guys that were on the show uh there was i got to give credit where credit is due there was clint from geek dig podcast and then there was also chris from oh shit attention deficit order podcast so those were the guys that were on the show and we just sat around and we had a really good time we recorded for about i don't know 90 minutes i think so there's a 90 minute podcast up but we do a skit i'm acting now steve I'm breaking into acting. It's pretty amazing. I literally can't thespian. wait to hear. I mean, I legit can't wait to hear this, dude. I had a lot of fun, man. And uh, Sean, if you're listening, you are welcome to come on this show. He, he likes to talk movies. That's good. He's got a great personality. And he likes you, man. He actually asked for you to be on the show, too. So one of these days, we both got to go on. Oh, for show. sure, man. I mean, I'm not good with improv. It has never been one of my strong points. I've never tried it. You know what's funny? Dude, you're going to laugh at this. No, but first, let's get what's to up? the story. Um, I've never done improv. So um, I'm very interested to see how you did. And if you did amazing, I could at least do about seven points under that. I wouldn't say I did amazing, but I think that's the point. I've never done improv before. I mean, I've had to make some shit up on the spot, if you want to call that improvisation. But as far as this goes, I've never done that. It was really fun. I had a really good time. You're good, but you I could see you doing well on that, though. Well, listen, and you tell me. Oh no, I know you. Again, I can't yeah. wait. I can't wait. No, I want to plug it, and I, you know, and I think I'm going to plug it on the on when we start up. By the way, we got to get started with that. But guys, I want to make sure I don't fuck this up. So let me just actually pulling it up real quick, okay? So yeah, it's episode 132. It just dropped today. The podcast is called Horribly Awkward Podcast, and I recommend you listen to it. And you know what? If you like me, I'll be on there. So yeah, Sean, thank you very much for having me on, man. Sorry, I don't know if I just plugged your show for shit or not but i really like his show and i think you guys should listen to it and he's local so we got to represent fresno you already know you already know um so everybody just because seriously everybody listening to this episode of uh give them love show them that oh we got a little bit of the heroes bump listen to that episode and be like we're here because we heard about it on heroes of noise and wow what an amazing show the best i've ever heard or something like that. That would be nice. Would be really good. So anyway, on to the. Is there anything else you wanna you wanna um say? Any other shows you've been on, Dan, that you wanna plug? Yeah, there's a few in the works, but I don't want to talk about it just yet. No problem. That's, no, I'm just kidding. No, there's no, no, <laughs> there's no, nothing. Either. No man. No, I had a great time. It was really weird being on someone else's show, and we did it video Skype too, so I couldn't pick my nose or that's sit in my underwear yeah, like I like to. That's interesting. Yeah, it was fun, man. It was kind of cool to put you know, uh, a face to the voice and just to be like, it's like, I think that we should do that more often because I really do. F I felt more engaged. Not that I'm not engaged when we do this here. I'm just saying I felt more engaged to actually have a visual to talk at. It was fun. Yes, and we are going to do that. And hopefully eventually we're going to be able to do an, uh, you know, a video podcast every once in a while. I'm, I'm getting the equipment. So hopefully we'll be able to come on in here and do a video podcast of some sort. So what are we going to do? Like sit in front of a green screen and just like play crazy videos behind us while we're talking? Or? See, I don't know how to do that. So I don't, I, all I'm doing is I'm getting the, um, the three stools, I'm getting the mic and I'm getting the lav, uh, the lav mics. Not, I mean, I'm getting the lights and the lav mics. That's it. You're getting lights, bro. They're, the lights aren't expensive. Like I'm thinking lights, like what I'm thinking are the, they look like umbrellas. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, talking about? Yeah, and they those, reflect. Yeah. Look at you. They're not expensive, G. <laughs> That's the thing. They're not. An, the thing is, I think people are like, they're betting on the fact that you won't get them. I mean, for people who are going to get them, they'll just be like, oh, that's not as bad as I thought. People just don't look for them. So when you get them and then it's just a fact of 
Like I remember watching a show randomly. Um, I won't plug the show, but there was a show where there was a producer on the side with an iPad that would actually be making things behind the behind them as they were talking, and they'd be able to look at a screen and see what was happening. And while and so whatever they're looking at on the screen would be happening behind them, but they're actually looking at it. I was like, that's an easy, really cool um, setup right there. So it'd be a fun like every once in a while to do a video podcast where. Um, we just take the audio from the um, video and then make it the podcast. But if people want to see how amazing Dan with all of his guest star role looks, they could just look at the video. And you wonder why I bat this shit back to you. <laughs> <laughs> why do you bat it back to me? Then we wonder why would Dan look at this, look at this magnificent, <laughs> totally. this magnificent voice. <laughs> is, that, is that how I do it? That's how you sounded right now, man. No, I'm just kidding. That bro. is hilarious. Well, ladies, <laughs> I'm going to just load you up full of like complexes if I'm not careful. I know. I'm not going to say anything because apparently apparently, I say blah, blah, blah. It's not true, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. Please email and let these folks know that they're tripping. I don't say that. I think they might be listening to the wrong podcast. I hear blah, blah, a lot. I hear blah, blah, a lot, bro. That's I just, I don't believe that, though. What could I possibly say it about? Just it's like when you're talking, you know, and, and you're you're really into the conversation, but you just want to give an example. You know what I mean? You're like, so take blah, blah for an instance or, you know, <laughs> take blah, blah for instance. I can't even imagine. <laughs> and usually, usually the first blah has a voice crack. Really? Yeah, you'll be blah, like, blah, blah. You know, so I'm just sitting there trying to watch blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't even say I made myself laugh. I made myself laugh. That you say blah, blah. Crack. <laughs> that is hilarious. That is freaking outstanding. Um, we're going to do ourselves in, though. If we start like breaking down how we, how oh, each other dude, talk, we're, we're going to be so complex we're done and insecure. We, we won't want to do this anymore. We're done. I'm sure I've got my shit, too. I'm a stutterer. What can I say? You don't. I don't ever hear you stutter. Or a stammer or whatever you want to call it. I think you talk wonderfully because. I like, it's not speech impediment. It's just I got a little. I like to repeat things when I, you know, I'll be like uh, something like. Um, but I'm serious about it, Steve. I'm serious about it. I do that a lot. Oh, do you really? Yeah, so, I do. So you're like that guy from Goodfellas. What was his name? Where, from Goodfellas? Oh, because uh, I don't know if it was Goodfellas. Oh, I'm going to go get the papers. Get yeah, the papers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Two Times. Yes. Are you, is that who you are, G? <laughs> Danny Two Times? I don't know. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we got to go to the next podcast. The next podcast. We love you. Love you. Hey, we're out. See you in a bit. Yeah.